what is atom W and why it is preferred over atom. So here we are, of course, referring to the atom optimization algorithm that we just discussed. And the atom W is simply the adjusted version of the traditional atom optimizer. So like Adam, Adam W is an adaptive optimization algorithm that is used to optimize the training of a neural network and to find the minimal point of the loss function by continuously adapting the learning rate and updating the model parameters. So the biggest difference in Adam W and Adam is the way they perform this regularization. So the traditional atom has one specific disadvantage, which usually comes uh, when dealing with deep neural networks. So unlike the uh, traditional SGD with momentum, Adam is unable to properly generalize the model. And most of the time when we are performing regularization with Adam, so let's say we are using L2 reach regularization uh, with Adam in order to penalize uh, large weights and in order to address the overfitting problem of the algorithm, then Adam has shown in the industry when training different deep neural network to not generalize very well and to solve this problem of overfitting. So that's exactly what Adam W tries to do. It tries to address the specific problem of Adam such that we can have improved generalization uh, and it can address the shortcomings of the traditional Adam, making it one of the best algorithms out there and it's being used more and more in across various applications. And this is especially true when it comes to fine-tuning already pre-trained model, because those type of models are known to have this problem of overfitting and we need to have general model when the problem of overfitting will not be so absent, so present, and we will be able to pre-train the model, fine-tune the model this pre, uh, based on this pre-trained model, and then use this on an unseen data, and the model will still perform well. So this basically solving the problem of overfitting and ensuring that we have improved generalization. That's what Adam W does. And the way it does that is that, like you can see here, unlike the traditional Adam with L2 regularization, for instance, what it does is that it adds this decay, so this penalization term, right in the update process when updating the model parameters. So the traditional Adam algorithm, when combined with L2 regularization, where Adam is the optimization algorithm and L2 is the regularization algorithm to solve the overfitting, uh, what we do is that we add this lambda multiplied by theta t minus 1, where lambda is this uh, penalization parameter we use to understand how much we need to penalize certain parameters. And this is to ensure that we that the model doesn't memorize the training data and it ensures that uh, the model and the model is more generalizable. Now, when we uh, do this, sometimes uh, this doesn't help us that much to solve the overfitting problem. And the weight decay, so decoupling this weight decay from this gradient updates, and instead of using this as part of this gradient update, if we incorporate this as part of the directly as part of the model parameter updates, then it has proven to have much better impact in terms of generalization of the model. So when we add this regularization term lambda multiplied by theta t minus one, not to the gradient but we add it directly when updating the model parameter as part of this uh, entire uh, expression, as you can see, multiplied with the learning rate, then this has shown to have much better impact in terms of solving the overfitting problem and making the entire training uh, trained model more generalizable, which will then ensure that uh, we have better performance in specific scenarios, especially when we have uh, deep neural networks or when we are fine-tuning pre-trained model. And this also means that the algorithm uh, will perform equally well on an unseen data, unlike when we are using the traditional Adam, which in some scenarios doesn't perform generalization very well and it suffers from overfitting.